We have arrived in northern Patagonia, in the adorable town of Bariloche, often referred to as Argentina's Switzerland due to its picturesque mountains and many lakes. There are so many amazing activities to experience in this area, including the Bari, the amazing food, the surprising architecture, and riding the famous Circuito Chico. But today, we will be heading into the mountains and staying overnight in one of Patagonia's mountain refuges. Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, you absolutely stunning people. So the hike today up to Refugio Frey is, the trailhead is still an hour drive from here, so we are jumping on the local bus. I don't know if it's just because it's Saturday, but it only comes every two hours. Let's go see how much it costs. Stunning bus ride. And it was Sorry. really quick. It was only like half an hour. I thought it was supposed to be 50 minutes. Oh. And we made it to a ski resort. That is crazy. <laughs> it is 11.53 and we're starting a hike to our future. Beautiful sunny day, no wind. It's the perfect day because the air is like pretty cool, but the sun is warm. Yeah. Perfect day for hiking. I'm so grateful to be here in the first place, but I wish I was here in winter. Like doing some snowboarding. I know, I would love to be skiing right now. Like, I actually love this area so much. It's so beautiful and cute that I would love to come back here in winter. Far. It is gorgeous. There are beautiful, beautiful wildflowers here. How nice! And also, the great thing about this hike is that we're actually going to sleep up on the mountain in the refuge. So, even though it's like an 18 or 19 kilometer hike, we only have to do nine kilometers there today and then nine kilometers back tomorrow. But we're probably going to add on a little detour. This is why I can't trust men. They always say, well, Max always says, women are so better direction. Where did you take us? I went through the trail, but for a shortcut. No. So even though we're not starting the hike till like midday, it's totally fine because we just have to go one way. We don't have to rush. We can take our time, stop and have a little picnic lunch. Are there bears in Argentina? I did. Good. Yeah. That's another thing that we haven't mentioned yet. If you do want to do this hike, you actually have to go on the National Park website and register that you're doing the hike. It's totally free and everything. You just need to let them know that you're going to be here. And they just ask you questions like, are you prepared? Have you done hikes like this before? Do you have the right gear? Ra rah, rah. I mean, it's a pretty simple track. It's not hard but you are up in the mountains. So obviously bring warm clothes, even if it is summer. And yeah, just make sure you go register yourself. This is when you picture a perfect hiking trail in your mind, I feel like this is it. Like it's narrow, there's lots of trees, there's some shaded, some sunny. There's a little stream, there's wildflowers everywhere. When you turn around the corner, you get a view of the mountain ahead of you. Like. This is the perfect hiking trail. Nice. Clean hands. Didn't drop my sunnies this time. Oh, yeah. it's time to stop for lunch even though we've only been hiking for like less than an hour 
but <laughs> it's quarter to one and we haven't eaten. Look how big the sandwiches. <laughs> We picked these up from one of the bakeries in town and actually we were walking through town yesterday and we walked past this bakery three times. Three times it was absolutely packed. So we thought probably it's pretty good. Well, this sandwich is living up to the hype of the busyness of that store. It has pesto, tomato, beetroot, corn, cheese. It's so good. opened up and it is so beautiful so this area um, is known as the lake region and there's a drive that you can do that's called the seven lakes route and it takes you to all the different seven beautiful lakes it's so warm in the sun and the lake down here looks so inviting but we did bring our togs with us because apparently at the refuge there is a lake and I'm hoping that we can go for a swim there, which will be a really nice reward when we get up there. Just got a beautiful glimpse of the distance. They're like huge, like pinnacles on top of the mountain. And there's a little bit of snow up there. We Sun. just took the bend. And according to all trails, it's gonna start to spike up now. We've uh, had two hours of pleasant flattish stroll. Now it goes up. Wow. This is a trick. Wow. Look at this. It's so nice. This is so nice. This is an enchanting forest. Holy guacamole. seen or even got a glimpse of the refuge nor the lake yet we are here people we finally made it. well we've just arrived in the most picturesque canyon and there are millions of spikes of rocks there's the lake look jackie oh my god that's so <laughs> nice so the refuge is seriously right there and then the lake is right here. Well, welcome. I'm Celeste. Thank Celeste. you, Celeste. Celeste, Celeste. Uh, whatever you need, Gracias. we are there cooking. Thank you. You're welcome. One thing left to do. You know the drill. <laughs> You ready? Oof. Oh my 
Okay, let's get out. That's good. It's no better, like, pick me up than plunging into cold water. <sighs> There's actual snow right there. <laughs> <laughs> We've done worse. There's snow right there. That's true. I didn't even think of the snow right there. So Max will like refuse to just sit somewhere. Everyone else is just sitting on rocks. But Max has optimized. He's put a plastic sheet down to protect his sarong. On top of that, he has his jumper. Under here, he has his blow up cushion. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. It is six o'clock we've been waiting for an hour and a half to have dinner because we've been hungry since then <laughs> well they do offer dinner here but it is adding to the whole tally of everything that's costing to just walk in nature <laughs> it's not that cheap here it's not that expensive either um, but it's definitely not one of the cheapest hikes we've ever done or cheapest refuges we've ever stayed in. So we're just saving money by prepping dinner of our own. Also, they have a kitchen we can cook in, but we just wanted to eat by the lake. So you don't have to be as rustic as we are. Yeah. You could be making your food in the camp kitchen, which of course, like I said, we will give you a tour. We're just enjoying our time by the lake first. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mm. 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 So these are the camp spots and there is our room as promised we said we we're going to give you a tour and we want to do it before it gets dark so you can actually see what we're looking at it's gotten really busy so i'm sorry if there's a lot of noise around but it's a popular hike and we can see why this is the main part of the refuge it's really loud in there so we won't go in there we'll just go get some shots to put over the top but in there is where you do check in when you arrive you just kind of walk in and around to the right there's a little reception area you can buy like drinks and snacks you can order your dinner and breakfast and everything there and there's a couple of little tables in there you can eat at and they have a hot water dispenser which is very helpful over here in here is a little kitchen. They have like a little cooking area and sink that you can do your dishes at. Upstairs of this building is our bedroom, but we have to take our shoes off to go up there and that's a mission. So I'm gonna show you that one a little bit later. So over this way, I'm back. These are very basic bathrooms. There's basically toilets and sinks, and that's pretty much it. The toilets flush, but of course you don't want to put any toilet paper in the toilet. And yeah, there's no shower, but that's why we went for a swim in the lake. One last thing, probably especially important for the ladies, it's bring your own toilet paper. So make sure you do actually bring some up with you. And lastly, for the water that you drink, there's a river right here, straight from the lake. And this is where you get your water from. We haven't shut our pants yet, so we think it's okay. <laughs> so to stay at the refuge, it's 24,000 pesos per person per night at the moment. We had to pay an extra 6,000 per person each to get a sleeping bag because they don't actually offer you blankets, they only offer you pillows. You can also book full board, which gives you dinner included and breakfast the next day. And that is, I believe, 50,000, but it is Argentina. Prices are changing all the time, so you just have to check online on their website. You need to buy a Subé card to get on the bus as well, so make sure you do that beforehand. A little ASMR for you all. <laughs> There's not really much to do here. <laughs> Once you're done hiking and hanging out by the lake, everyone is drinking wine or having a beer, and we got really jealous. So we've taken a beer. They sell them here for four and a half thousand pesos each. It's a beautiful evening, so we're gonna sit outside. There's actually all these picnic tables outside that we didn't show you earlier. But yeah, we're gonna sit here, probably play a little game of rummy cup and enjoy this. <laughs> perfect daylight out here but there's not really much to do and we're kind of tired so we're probably gonna go see if we can try to get some sleep there's still a lot of people here it's quite loud so luckily we bought earbuds okay 
this is our cozy little bed we've ended up right back in the corner there's a bed that's like for two people just only two so luckily we are able to snag that which is awesome but most of them it's like one big row of beds so you have to sleep with everyone but yeah this is pretty much it for the day so we'll see you in the morning good night good night So just like dinner, you can buy your breakfast here at the refuge as well. But we brought our own little media lunas from the bakery. We also have a little bit of leftover um, avocado from yesterday so we can make those up. But I just want to sit here and watch this view and hopefully enjoy a bit of peace and quiet before everybody else wakes up. But yeah, not too bad a night's sleep, but also as you can tell, not the best either. a very pretty breakfast for what Max is used to and he's gonna be hiking. We don't have much other food so we're gonna have to make it down before he gets too hungry. All right, day two. We are not gonna go back the way that we came. We're gonna go on this loop that we can see on all trails. Not exactly sure because we didn't download the map, but we can see that there's another trail that way that leads back down to where we're going. So we're going to give it a go. Hopefully it goes through. Every single hike we do lately, we're like, oh my God, this hike they kind of just keep like getting better and better we're like this is one of the best hikes we've ever done but we say that to every single hike so i think it's just south america if you are a big hiker or even if you're not a big hiker but you want to go on a hiking holiday to try it out this is the place because honestly the hikes in this part of the world are so amazing loving them Oh my god, this morning's uphill is such a killer and we're not even 100% sure if we're going the right way. So if we have to go back down, it's like super loose rock, it's going to be awful, but hopefully not. All roads lead to Rome. Well, not really. Oh my god. Hey, baby. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Wow! Oh my god! Oh, this little side mission, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, the valley, it's so green. It looks like a mythical land down there. Yeah, on the trail. This way? I think it's this one, yeah. <laughs> wonder like how did we get here <laughs> like we're just in the most crazy place how did we get here we may have made a mistake i don't know there's no actual like clear trail for us to follow. So we're just looking at the old trails map and trying to figure it out. Um, really wish we had this section downloaded um, because we can see we're going down towards the valley where there's so much bush and I just don't know if there's gonna be a path through it. Like maybe there is technically a trail there but no one uses it so it's not maintained and we're not gonna be able to get through. It's also really, really loose rock here and it's like kind of sketchy. So yeah, we may have made a mistake. <laughs> Let's go find out, I guess. 
I just sent Max ahead because he's so much faster than me to see if there is an actual trail down there. Oh, I think we've got to probably climb back up here. I wish we'd just stayed up there for the view and come back. So Max ha can't find the trail, but is still saying, come down, come down, which I think is really stupid because I just don't think people come this way and it's probably there is no trail. But of course, Max wants to keep going instead of just going back the way we came, which would be very pleasant. There was no trail. There was nothing. Well, I mean, we are going to link up to that spot anyway. Oh. Okay, as we were leaving, we walked five meters. There's an actual trail here. This will be our last push. Hmm. I think we're gonna go back. <laughs> oh my God. That was so steep. Oh, you can't even see. But seriously, wow. That was a leg burner, but <laughs> At least we got our workout in for the day. So now we're actually just going to make our way back the exact same way we came yesterday. So probably won't film much of that for you guys because you've already seen it. Thank you so much for watching. We're in Bariloche for a week and we have lots of adventures planned here. We're gonna cycle the Sequito Chico and we're going to go to the Los Arenas Forest, which is apparently the forest that inspired the film Bambi. So we will see you guys in the next one. Max is always 10 feet ahead of me. Never hikes with me, always hikes ahead of me. Protecting you from the bears. There are no bears. <laughs> this is like so nice. Whoa. <laughs> mm. The real reason we hike. <laughs> yeah. Go hiking guys, so you can have burgers. <laughs> if I see anyone in our bed, I'll shit on you. <laughs> <laughs>